Everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to find the SNI server name indication for HTTP Injector or any other VPN software you have installed on your mobile device. This SNI is essential because it allows you to connect to the internet through HTTP Injector by bypassing network restrictions using a working host. So let's dive right in and see how you can easily find it. But before we get started, make sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming VPN and internet tricks. Now let's get started. The SNI, Server Name Indication, is a host name that allows HTTP Injector to establish a secure connection with a VPN server. There are two ways to find a working SNI. One, using a pre-configured EHI file with an existing SNI. 2. Manually finding your own working SNI. In this tutorial, we'll be following the second method, where we will generate our own working SNI for HTTP Injector. Before we start, make sure you have a SIM card with zero balance, no mobile data or call balance, an unlimited social media, gaming, or education data plan activated on your SIM. Once your unlimited plan is activated, we can proceed to find a working SNI using HTTP Injector. Now, open HTTP Injector and follow these steps. 1. Tap on the Tools option in the app. 2. Scroll down and select Response Checker. This tool will help us check if a host, Essen, is working with our unlimited data plan. Now, let's enter the URL of the website linked to your unlimited data plan. In my case, I have an unlimited gaming plan, so I'll enter the gaming website URL. 1. Type the website URL and tap Check. 2. If the host is working, you will see a positive response. 3. Now, let's try Google.com. If it doesn't work, it means the normal internet is blocked, which is expected. 4. Now we take the working host, SNI, and move on to the next step. Now, we need to find a working SNI. Here's how. 1. Go to the CDN Finder option in HTTP Injector. 2. Enter the working host name. 3. Click Check and wait for the results. HTTP Injector will now generate multiple host names related to your data plan. I will now copy the first host name from the CDN Finder results. Let's test if this host name works. 1. Paste the host name back into HTTP Injector. 2. Change the header option to Method Mode. 3. Run a connection test with Facebook or Google. If Facebook and Google do not work, but your new host name allows a connection, then congratulations, you have found a working SNI, server name indication. Now, let's use this host name in HTTP Injector to start our VPN connection. 1. Paste the SNI into the host name slash SNI field. 2. Start the connection. Server name indication. Now, let's use this host name in HTTP Injector to start our VPN connection. 1. Paste the SNI into the host name slash SNI field. 2. Start the connection. As you can see, we have successfully connected to the internet using HTTP Injector without an active data plan. This means the SNI method is working perfectly. If for some reason it doesn't work for you, check out my previous tutorials linked in the description below, where I share alternative working methods. And that's it! You now know how to find and use the SNI server name indication for HTTP Injector. This method can help you connect to the internet for free, using only an unlimited data plan. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel for more awesome tricks. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Stay connected.